International condemnation is growing against the recent violence orchestrated by Egyptian security forces against Islamist supporters of deposed President Mohamed Morsi, which has left at least 525 people dead. Yemeni Nobel Peace Prize winner Tawakul Karman says the massacre was an affront to the ideals of democracy, freedom and justice. What we see now is an actual massacre that affects the freedom and rights of the people, a real massacre of democratic norms, a historic massacre of the January 2011 revolution and the other Arab Spring revolutions. The Egyptian army didn't only target the post-president Mohamed Morsi, they targeted the emerging democracy in Egypt, the January revolution, the Arab Spring and the dream of the region's peoples for democracy, freedom and justice. Human rights groups express concern at the carnage which took place in Egypt's capital, Cairo. I mean, what, what we're doing right now is we're still in the process of investigating to what extent the use of force by security forces yesterday in breaking up the sit-in was unlawful and excessive. We know that there were a few arms on the Muslim Brotherhood side, but the death toll that we've confirmed so far from yesterday, which is at least 235 people killed in Rabah alone, far exceeds uh, a the number of police reported in killed, which was seven, uh, and uh, any reported uh, arms on that side. So overall, what we're trying to establish here is how many unlawful deaths were caused. While Egyptian interim vice president Mohamed El Baradei stepped down after the clashes, other politicians are maintaining that the use of extreme force by police was necessary. No country will accept that people with strong and heavy armored weapons with several thousands will sit in in a big square in any of the European cities. They will never tolerate uh, this. They did their effort and they failed. And they, they said they failed. We met the Europeans, we met the Americans as a party, uh, from our party, and we knew they couldn't achieve anything. We did our best to talk to the Muslim Brothers. They refused to talk to us or to negotiate anything. Democratically elected Morsi was removed from the presidency by military coup last month. Human rights groups in Egypt are now concerned that the latest developments signal a death knell for democracy in the North African state, with the hopes of the Arab Spring dying together with the protesters in Cairo.